I've been playing this puzzle game a lot in my free time, and I want to share it with you all. First off, the map looks like a penguin. How cute. But here's how the game works. There's going to be four power plants of varying colors, and the goal is to connect each house to each power plant. Now you can do this in various ways. You could draw wires that could go all the way to the power plant, and it connects with a line. However, this house can't do that because it's out on an island. So there's varying mechanics to help you traverse varying obstacles, one of them being an underground pipe. You can take the pipe and drag it in any direction, cardinal or diagonal, and that lands it right next to the power plant, which has its own power. However, there's other methods. I could delete this pipe, and then I could say connect the power plant to this one. What that does is make every one on the map, such as this one, also connected to this orange. After everything is connected, you finish your turn and you get to select more resources because this is actually a resource management game. Every single turn, new stuff is going to keep popping up and it's going to cost you more and more to connect to all the varying power plants. Like this yellow could connect to the two and then we could probably connect to both houses like this. And it's going to get overwhelming pretty quickly because there's 51 turns and we're only on turn two. Now I get another option. I could choose hammers. You may have noticed that not all tiles are created equal. Some are smooth. The bumpy ones are covered with rocks and need to be destroyed by hammers in order to go over with wires. So the blue house has a three. I could connect to the three. Sorry, the blue uh, power plant has a three. I could connect this blue house to the three. This other one in the middle of nowhere. Let's see where the pipes go. Well, that's actually a very convenient pipage across the gap here. Given the penguins embraces. And every turn I get a choice. I'll go for wire and pipe. And this has actually been very generous right now. The uh, purple is showing up right next to the purple power plant. This one, however, has to take a pretty long journey. Or does it? I mean, I could spend a ton of pipes or wires, but I could actually just do pipes here. If I connect this way and then make this pipe connection, we might be on to something here. Just got to connect this whole setup, and now we got a clean purple here. It's good to be optimal ahead of time because I'm sure it's only going to get worse. Yeah, now it's going to start getting a little testy. Again, I think I want to keep using pipes to my advantage. The pipe has to be built directly on the edge of a chasm, which means that this is the realistic connection for the orange. I'm avoiding the rocks right now, and I think purple can just go around without any issue. Now, Right now, the wires themselves aren't a trouble, but they have an interesting quirk to them. I'm gonna go for another pipe because I'm spending a lot. Now, you might be wondering how I have half of a wire. Well, you see, if I build my wire horizontally, it costs one wire, but if I build it diagonally, it costs one and a half. So you have to use the quirks in that to map out your wiring. So you can't just like connect to the connection point diagonally, you should probably connect to it horizontally instead, saving half a wire. And then any amount of wires can connect to each other as long as they're the same colors. You cannot connect different colored wires. The other thing is this yellow house. I imagine, again, I could use a pipe for that. Just connect it like so, and then go to my next turn. Two pipes are 16 wires. 16 wires is an awesome bounty, I'll take it. And thankfully, that's a pretty easy connection. The orange, I could do a little bit of shuffling for. If I just connect orange like so, I could have yellow go around it. And actually, I wouldn't even need to connect it too. It would just be quicker to connect to this other house. So technically, two doesn't have to be a yellow connection right now. So I'll turn it off. I may go back to it though. And again, 16 wire since I'm using a lot of it. The fastest connection for this orange is just going all the way back since it still connects to orange. I have a pretty convenient yellow pipe connection that just lets it connect to the main yellow network. And I'll go for more pipes because I'm continuing to spend those. Now this is annoying. Blue and purple on the opposite side of the map. The <laughs> blue's journey especially is gonna be a pain. So I think what I gotta do is actually re rework yellow right here. Get rid of that connection just so I can have blue come through and then connect to the three. That would mean yellow has to go around the long way. But it does work. However, what about the purple? Well, I think the purple actually has an all right way. If I remove this path, I could connect purple to four, which then can finally be used as the portal to the purple factory. And then I could connect yellow this direction. It is starting to use quite a bit of pipes and I will be running out, but what's actually more pertinent is hammers. I'm down to 17 hammers and there's a lot of rocks left. So it's important that I keep making those. The yellow connection seems pretty easy. I just do a diagonal pipe and then connect to the rest. Orange on the other hand, hmm. Now I think the closest connections on the bottom, however, 
we will see I can't overlap with the purple line, otherwise it becomes purple. I think there's a pretty easy solution to this. You just kind of change the direction in which these purples and oranges flow. So I could build the line around, connect the other orange, and then bring it back home to the main orange line. That's very hammer expensive, also wire expensive. Thankfully, I can choose both. All right, this one seems a bit more manageable. Yellow has a nice connection. Like all it takes is one pipe and it's connected to the main line. The other yellow, it just needs a couple more pipes, but the idea is the same. I guess it's a long pipe traversal here, but it does work. And now we can see the resources are really starting to hurt. I'll go two pipes right now. I think I'm gonna need some blue pipes for this. Okay, this is a pretty fine blue pipe relatively cheap the purple doesn't look that bad either because all you gotta do is actually just connect that directly to the other purple house but i am down to 8.5 pipes and i'm not offered any hammers or pipes probably hammers just because i imagine i've been using the most of my pipes thankfully the blue connection is easy and the orange connection is easy as well but i'm down to 2.5 wires okay 16 more wires the blue connection is easy the orange also is easy because i can go straight to the power plant haven't done that in a while. I think I still need more wires. 16 wires is a blessing. Again, the yellow connection is easy, but blue, gonna need to think about a bit more. Sure, I could just wrap the whole map and spend a trillion wires that I don't have, but there's gotta be something else. I kinda want the blue to connect in with the three here, so I've gotta do a lot of work. What if first I destroy this yellow line? Yeah, that isolates a ton of yellows. However, I could then change the orange line more convenient to yellows. That would look like this here. This way, yellows could connect back to two, and here we are again. I then can actually delete this direct orange connection, get a pretty easy other orange connection. Then, I, oh, I can't quite pipe, but surely there's a pipe here that's friendly to me. Yeah, blue pipe that kind of goes along this path is okay. Then I can do a slight optimization, delete two and a half wires here, replace it with one and a half wires. Every little bit's gonna count here. Definitely need more hammers since I'm at nine, so I'll take both wire and hammer. The top blue isn't so bad, just kind of snake it around directly to the three because it's closer than the power plant. Blue on the bottom though, that's gonna need a pipe. Now this here is a very convenient piping spot and I honestly couldn't be happier about it. I'll connect the blue and orange does not need to do that much more work. And I am very short on hammers. Yes, it means I'm taking a pipe and a hammer. Well, the yellow connection is easy. This blue is nightmarish. I don't think that's true, actually. I can simultaneously optimize yellow and maybe set up a blue connection. I think just an underground pipe is perfect, actually. That's not bad. And we're only a third of the way through this. So you can just imagine how absolutely crowded it's due to get. I'll go eight wire because I'm short on those now. Thankfully, the blue connection is pretty easy. Orange also should be easy. I just reroute yellow a little bit, and then it's part of the game. Now I could delete this one and a half wires and replace it with a full wire. What's next? I definitely need hammers too. I'll take wires and hammers. Uh, the purple connection is easy. I'll just preemptively optimize its line so it uses as few as possible. The orange looks easy as well. I just need the right wire connection. Because, I mean, there are so many options right here. I think I'll go with this option. I can't go wrong with wires and hammers. Two easy connections. A breeze. Thank you. Now I'll take two pipes because I was short on those. The orange house doesn't look too bad as long as yellow just simply makes room for it. Diagonally goes around and the orange connects straight. Oh, blue is super easy. Awesome. Wires and hammers. I still need more hammers. So purple, I think, has a pretty easy connection if I go with a pipe across the here. That means I can just connect to the purple wire real easily. I also noticed orange could save some wires at the expense of a pipe. At least this specific orange. I think then I could just make a simple pipe connection here, hook up orange, and then save a pipe down below, or a wire down below. Now I'm really good on wires. Blue also has a pretty easy pipe connection. I'll connect it to this spot to connect to the three because I feel like it. But now I definitely need pipes and hammers. I'm good on wires for this foreseeable future. The blue on the bottom looks like it's going to connect beautifully. The yellow has a little bit more of a rearranging to do, but it looks like if I rearrange purple, yellow can squeeze right through. Still good on wires. Well, I'll take the pipes. Getting wires is never a bad thing. It's like getting socks for Christmas. I mean, you know you need them. You just don't want them. Anyway, the purple connection was easy. This yellow connection, though, look at my hammer count. 
I mean, that's the easiest way, but I have two hammers left. I need hammers! Unfortunately, eight wires and one pipe will do. At least the orange has an easy connection here, and I can save two wires just to use one and a half wires. And yellow actually works really well. Pipes just need a pipe, no wires. I need hammers, I got three hammers here. Okay, the yellow connection's easy. The purple connection actually looks super easy. It's just one pipe directly to the power plant. So these small islands are being taken care of. The three hammers no matter what. I think I'll actually then go with wires because the small islands are being taken care of. I think I'm gonna need to spend more wires than anything else. This blue house looks intimidating, but I think if I delete the purple, I can have a nice blue pipe connection through here, which means I could connect it and then save half of a wire with this maneuver. Now, actually, I could be a little craftier here. This bottom could be shaved way better than I expected, because let me just delete this pipe I just made. What if I made a pipe directly to the left? That connects to a blue house. And there's a few benefits of this. One, it's a little faster. Two, I could kind of change up how the orange and purple here now work. If the orange kind of then comes around, I could do a direct pipe right here, and then the purple connects easy, which is the main point. And it leaves a bunch of prime real estate on the edge. Now keep going, pipes and hammers. They make the world go round. Easy purple connection. <laughs> oh, that's an island blue. Okay, that's fine. You just delete the yellow, allowing the blue to connect. And that means the yellow is just gonna simply have to go around the long way at the expense of some hammers. And now I will take the mother load of hammers. Thank you. Oh yeah, so now there's so many houses that they'll just build on the wires, making life extra tricky for you. I've got to delete this whole orange wire, maybe build one here. Or I think it's better to go the other way, just because I most likely want to connect blue via pipe, like that. But the other blue, I mean, that is isolated. Now, it's just one yellow I'm disconnecting, so maybe it's not all that bad. I could figure out this yellow and then just let the blue connect to blue this way. And this problem could be solved by deleting the purple and just having a simple yellow connection to the mainland. And actually, I think that's fine because then I can just make a diagonal blue, have the purple come around kind of awkwardly and clean it up to get to four. Every turn is going to be a puzzle, but I got a rare selection. So you may have noticed I've never talked about generators and jumpers. I'm going to kind of keep it that way because the main reason is that the game actually rewards you for not using these two specific things. I'll take the 20 wires over the eight hammers. And like there's a score at the end of the game that gets deducted by number of generators and jumpers used. So I'm not going to talk about it unless I have to. Anyways, the yellow connection is simple. And this purple is built on a pipe, which is brutal. However, I'm pretty sure I can clean up this pipe because I have a different yellow house I didn't have before, which is a really easy pipe here. So that's less of a problem than it looks, and the purple connection actually connects directly to a purple pipe, so we're just crisscrossing everything. It's beautiful. I'm great on wires, I'll take pipes and hammers. Damn you, orange. Thankfully, the leftmost orange is pretty easy. I just need to slightly reroute blue, and then I have a functioning connection to the neighborhood. Now I wonder, if I have the horizontal connections like this, it leads me at 38? However, if I go around like this, I have 39 pipes and two fewer hammers. And now, I mean, I can fix blue here, but the problem was never blue, the problem was orange. And actually, I'm gonna have blue go under, because it saves half a, half a pipe, and I think I can have orange go over like this. Now, this looks like it may be a problem until I just reroute orange to go around whoa, yellow the other way. Like so. That way I can connect yellow to the pipe and the yellow network. Still doing great on wire. Let's keep up the other stuff. Purple's gonna need a pipe. However, its pipe connections are inconvenient. However, I think I can have a more convenient blue network right to the left of it or the bottom of it. Because that can connect to the house, which makes room then for the purple connection. This blue connection looks bad until I delete the orange line and then the blue can connect directly to blue. Orange can go around back just spending a lot of hammers. Down to four. Oh, eight hammers, that's huge. Ignore the generator. Yellow has an easy connection. Orange also has an easy connection, but then that makes blue very sad. Oh, look how trapped it is. Now I do see one way out with pipes, and that would be by deleting these yellow connections so that I can make a blue pipe connection to the blue network like this. And thankfully that leaves a pretty easy yellow uh, pipe connection directly to a yellow house. It's just incredibly expensive. And now I'm low on pipes, so I'll take another one. The yellow landed on a yellow line, but the blue house is so bad. 
Oh, that was a pivotal spot, so I have to delete the yellow pipe and reconsider now. Now, thankfully, the blue connection itself doesn't seem that bad, but that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. It's still extremely painful. Actually, what I wonder is, can I do a long pipe? Look at this pipe! That's actually a savior for the yellows, because I can just connect right to the ye yellow network. Now, that does leave two other houses unhappy, unfortunately, but I mean, it might not be as bad as it looks. Maybe there's some equally crazy yellow pipage I could do like so. Oh ho ho. Also, I can clean up orange a little bit. Save a couple more wires. I'm having to get very creative with these pipes. Let's go more hammers, could always use more of those. A yellow spawned on the orange pipe. I can save orange, but yellow is having troubles. Now, yellow doesn't look too bad as long as I readjust the purple. See, the purple goes straight across this chasm, but the pipe could also go diagonally, and that's a better connection. It actually saves a lot of wire and doesn't cost anything extra. It also leaves room for yellow to come across diagonally and then easily make it to a yellow house. Now, this purple is in the middle of nowhere. You moved into the wrong neighborhood. If I had more pipes, this would be fine. I do see an optimization, which is absolutely nuts. So instead of the extremely short blue connection to the uh, power plant, you delete it and you let it go through its wire or its pipe across to this blue house, which would then make a new pipe to here connecting to this blue pipe, which zigzag its way over to the three. That way the purple could actually come out and have proper access to something. Now it would need a pipe for that access to happen, but I'm pretty sure it would only need one. Where can I save one pipe? I wonder if I can optimize the blue up here, like get rid of the pipe and blue and yellow could just do a whole reworking here. For starters, yellow could connect directly, so could most of blue. Then I'm just left with one sad blue house. But I think if I rearrange some of the yellow wire, it could start to make it its way back because the yellow reconnection is easy. The orange, less so. Well, actually, this can still make it back if yellow wraps around here and then orange sneaks through right here. Let's just save a wire or two. There we go. I have my pipe now. So where does purple pipe? Well, I can make this pipe connection and then save a wire. Well, that was convoluted, but the game is just beginning. I need more pipes. So one of them was already done. The other one's this blue, which actually is really frustrating. Mostly frustrating because it looks like I just need to spend an extra pipe and pipes are low for me. Because I was thinking blue pipe just connects right here and then I just need a purple pipe. But I, I am out of pipes, so I'm going to figure out how to actually save a pipe in the future. Or just get 20 wires. I don't need 20 wires. Look how many wires I have. I'd rather take the hammers actually, so screw the rare. Purple connection is easy. Yellow connection probably needs a pipe. Great. It is just a one pipe solution though, because it looks like I could just build right here and then pipe directly across the chasm. I mean, now you can see why I like the game so much. There's a lot of interesting optimizations. Hmm, I think I found the optimization. This is nuts. So working backwards here, I'm gonna start by deleting this yellow path. That means I can get rid of this pipe here with blue. Now blue can just come around easy to connect with other blues. So what does yellow do? Well, in order to free up yellow, I gotta first delete this orange path because orange can just come around to here and then connect to the orange house, same amount of pipes. So yellow now has the possibility to snake around the edge of the board and link up, leaving me with an extra pipe. This is unbelievable. It just feels so good for your brain. Now I'll take 20 wire over 16 wire. Oh, blue would be super easy if I had a pipe. Just look right, they go right to the edge and just hop the gap. I want to reveal something interesting about orange. This long sneaky path that it's doing doesn't actually need to converge on a wire out here or, or the pipe out there specifically. That comes back. Sure, they're all isolated now, but if I then build a pipe from this orange house to here, sure, it's linking, linking different colors, but it absolutely doesn't have to because of how easily yellow can maneuver. Now we have a nice orange connection right here. Now, what does this do? It uh, saves the yellow pipe that I just went out of my way to make. This was the real optimization all along. Because now I can connect that, save half a pipe, and now I have a actual pipe, a full pipe left. Do a diagonal blue connection, and everything's good and happy. But now I really need pipes. Well, I got one. I'll take it with three hammers. 
Oh, a blessing. Both houses spawned on their correct colored uh, wires. I need more pipes. Good. This time I wasn't so lucky. I got an ugly purple. At least the yellow that it was on can just be managed. Well, can it be managed without isolating the purple? I mean, look at that. Well, this is a little bit of a nightmare. The one upside is that I actually do have two pipes to my advantage now, so I could delete the long wire I made earlier. And then do an idea where I do a super long yellow pipe, which should come and save the day. It works. Purple still got to get somewhere, but at least it's not trapped. Well, if I delete this yellow and just do an additional pipe, back to spending all my pipes again, I suppose I could then wrap the purple around the long way and connect it to these houses. Out of pipes again, not good. Okay, I need two pipes and two easy connections. What a relief, it has been so long. Oh, how I've missed you. Keep taking more pipes. Wires are just taken care of and so are both those orange houses. More pipes. Okay, another easy orange house. The blue also looks pretty easy because you just wrap it around and then connect blue to blue. Hammers are definitely more dire than wire. The orange house on the bottom is easy because the blue connection has room to grow and then orange can connect directly to the pipe. Now the blue house here is less good. I mean, the blue is fine. It's the yellow that's not fine. And it is extremely not fine. Now, I think if I clean up a lot in this area, such as this yellow pipe, this purple pipe, and the purple house and maybe even the blue connection, I might have something. Like I could just go purple connection here. Blue could connect to a pipe here, and now I have a little wiggle room with yellow. Where to go though? Well, I can actually still keep this long yellow connection, just snake it around. And I still have plenty of pipes, so that's fine. Pipes or hammers? I'm gonna go pipes and hope I don't regret it. Oh, purple right on top of a blue pipe. Brutal. Well, delete the pipe. First off, how's purple getting home? Well, purple is a really easy diagonal connection. So it's only blue that's the problem. But newsflash, it's a lot of blues that are struggling here. However, it might not be too bad because I just got to find any blue and then pipe to that, which looks like this would be the case. And there we go. Everyone's happy and there's nothing to worry about. More pipes and hammers. Oh, orange is so kind to me. No issue there. More pipes and hammers. Yellow is kind. Blue is also pretty kind because it's an easy fix. Back three back easy fixes. I'll keep going a split of pipes and hammers because... Oh my god, more easy houses. Hammers, there's still a lot of rocks out there. It's good to at least be wary. These blues are a little less kind, but I think they should be fixable. Like, let's start with the leftmost blue. I think it's just a pretty easy diagonal connection. And then blue connects just fine. Blue is nearby to here. It looks like it should be easy, and I think it actually is if I also clear up the yellow. Because it looks like orange can connect directly, and so can yellow. One last turn. Now I'll just again ignore the rares, take two pipes. I think it just gave it to me. The challenging parts are over and all the houses have been connected. A beautiful win. Is this game not satisfying or what? I really hope you guys enjoyed watching because I want to keep playing. Let me know and I'll do an even harder level next time. So see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.